Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to play with some new luxury makeup. I have some Guerlain, some Chanel, some other brands as well. We're just gonna go ahead and create, I think like a beautiful, soft, smoky eye for, let's, let's call it summer. It's still summer, it's still so hot out. So anyway, that is today's video. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee, <laughs> let's take a sip and let's get started. So to start off, I have this smoky eye baton from Surat Beauty. It's It looks like this, it looks like a pencil. And I have the shade called Etincelle, which means like sparkle, spark, that sort of thing. This is what this liner, almost like a shadow stick looks like. And this is like a nice dark brown. And so that's part of the inspiration, you know, doing something kind of smoky, kind of brown here. But then I also have the Guerlain Wild Nudes palette, this one here. So I think both of these together can create something nice. Now, I, I was under the impression that these sticks from Surat had like, had like a sponge or a brush or something at the bottom to smudge it out. I'm confused, I don't know what's happening. If you know more about Surat Beauty, <laughs> leave a comment down below. So anyway, this you can blend out. So we could go ahead and smudge it, maybe with a finger or I have brushes, of course. So we'll do that. I think I'll start off with a little bit of eyeshadow first. Just this one here, this light color. All the brushes that I'm using are listed down below. Go ahead and check that out. Everything that I'm wearing, everything that I'm mentioning today is always listed in the description box. I'm just using this color really quickly in the crease here. And I also have one of the new Chanel uh, Equinox blushes too, the nice plummy one. It's interesting because this blush here that I just showed you in the palette, it looks like a dark purple plum, but on me, I swear, it's almost like a little bit peachy sometimes. I'm so confused. I guess it has two colors in it, so you get a little bit of mixture. Okay, just that for now, and now going into our Surat liner shadow stick. I'm just going to smudge it into basically the lash bed if you can put it directly not in your eye but just where the lashes are like along the lash line and then we're taking a little short stippling brush like this a pencil brush we're just going to smudge this this isn't precise the line itself doesn't have to be a sharp winged liner by any means we're just blending this out. Did you see online that Lisa Eldridge dropped some new eyeliners? I just saw them yesterday, I think. I was just thinking of this because, you know, smudging, ooh, some fallout right here. Um, yeah, she has these seamless glide eye pencils. Love that. They look like, um, or they remind me of Victoria Beckham. I mean, makes sense, Victoria Beckham. Lisa Eldridge, two very classy, elegant British ladies. So I think there are six shades available for the Lisa Eldridge. They don't have a little smudgy brush at the bottom. I kind of wish they had a sponge or something, like Victoria Beckham does. You can always go in with a little brush like I'm doing now just to blend this out. So there's six colors. They have like light gold, the beautiful dark emerald green, some classic colors like brown, black, navy, you know, all those classic fun colors, some mattes, some sparkle. Now I'm going into this color here. This is basically the only satin shade from this Guerlain palette. And I'm just going to pat some on here. And now that Lisa Eldridge is available at Selfridges, I think if I'm going to order, I'm going to order from there because ordering from her website directly just isn't worth it for me as a Canadian. The, the duties and everything are just 
really, really high. So it's a no, no merci for me. Uh, now I'm taking a clean blending brush like this and just blending this out. I wasn't expecting the Surratt liner to have some fallout, but I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. And this is like a super easy peasy smoky eye. Like, you know, that's the best when you really don't put that much effort in, but it actually looks like you put a lot of effort in. Like, that's the best part. The worst is like if you actually put a lot of work into something and it looks like you didn't, that is ultimate betrayal. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this up underneath here. I'm going to use, I have a little sample of the Dior Capture Total Eye Serum and a Q-tip. I hate using makeup remover to remove fallout from eye makeup. I just, you know, I, I spend a lot of money and time taking care of my skin and that includes my under eye, so why would I remove it at the start of the day? No. That all came off with a little bit of eye serum, eye cream, eye mask, whatever. Just do me a favor, don't use eye makeup remover to clean up the fallout. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on this eye here. Interestingly enough, on this side here with the Surratt liner, I didn't have any fallout, so I don't know what that was about. I'm going to take a little bit of that and just trace it on the bottom lashes here, and then maybe I'll add a little bit of eyeshadow. No, I'm just going to do a little bit like that, and then just very lightly, I'm going to trace this on the lash line again on top, I'm trying not to be as like uh, blurry as before because you, I mean, you can sort of see it, but you, it sort of blends into the lashes and the shadow just to define the eye a little bit. For mascara, I'm going into the new Benefit Fan Fest mascara. This is great. I bought a sample of it, like the mini travel size one. It's great. It has like this um, half moon shape. So it's really meant to fan your lashes and spread them apart. But I just find it's also very lengthening and adds drama. It's a great mascara. And I love that you can purchase the travel size. It's a great way to test products out. So that's one eye with mascara and one eye without. Yeah, there's a pretty big difference. Let's move on to the complexion, but first I'm going to add some chapstick. This is my Burt's Bees chapstick in watermelon. It smells like watermelon candy. I love it. Now for the complexion, I'm going into my Drunk Elephant, Elephant? Drunk Elephant bronzing drops here. So when you apply this, you can do it on a bare face. You can mix it into a sunscreen or also into a moisturizer. And so I have a sample here of the Chanel Sublimage in the Supreme Texture. So this one's going to be a bit thicker. It's more for if you have like really dry, dehydrated, mature skin. This one's for you. They have three textures in this uh, moisturizer. There's like the universal one. There's one for oily skin, one for dry skin. I have a sample of the dry skin one. So the Sublimage Skin Care like moisturizer here is global anti-aging, it's for regeneration, regeneration, like regenerative properties to boost glow, make you radiant, you know, all that fun stuff. It has a very faint vanilla scent. It's the vanilla planifolia that is the active ingredient in this line. So just take some of the cream you're using and put a few drops of the bronzing liquid gel here. They are drops, but they're not very runny. It's almost like a gel, <laughs> like a slightly liquid gel. They're, they're not gonna run everywhere, so they won't make too much of a mess. There we go, that's the base. The bronzing drops do make you look a little bit more bronzed, and it just, for me, offers enough coverage. I'm really not looking for foundation these days. I just want to unify and beautify my skin tone. So the moisturizer will dry down in a second. I'm gonna go straight into concealer. This is the Sublimage Concealer in the shade 32. I'm going to add a bit of powder on my face because there is a heat wave and it's super hot. So I'm gonna mattify just 
a little bit. I'm going to use the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. I'm using the shade 3N. So this is like a gel-based powder. You can actually like squish it through. This is not for super oily skin. If you have dry, dehydrated, mature, or just like a normal skin type, this is going to work for you. It's It mattifies just like a little bit. You'll see, like it's not, it's more blurring. I wouldn't say it's a mattifying powder. It's like a gel water-based powder. So yeah, like I said, but if there's a heat wave going on and for me, this is, this is enough. I don't need it to be super matte. I'm going to be a little bit shiny by the end of the day. It is what it is. For the blush, let's go into the beautiful Equinox blush. And I'll show you what I mean here because when you see this, this looks like a dark berry, right? Like you, yeah, this looks like a dark plum, but something about this blush changes on me where it's not, I mean, yeah, it's red berry-ish, but just not quite what I thought it would be, but it's still very pretty. I think it's just like the inner swirl here that helps lighten it up a little bit. But that being said, you can definitely keep applying. Like I'm going into a, like a light hand and tapping some off here on a tissue. I'm not sure why, but I have like this little patch on my cheek that's refusing to let any makeup settle. Isn't that annoying? <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Okay, uh, let's do a lip. I wanna go into my Guerlain um, Cashew Brown lipstick. It's this one here, but it's really dark. Mm, maybe I'll do, I'll use like this part of like the tip of the lipstick because I don't think I want it, like I don't want the whole look to be super intense. What I'll do is maybe like a contour ombre with the lipstick. It is like a really hot, heavy day, so I don't want like a, a heavy eye and a heavy lip so i think just making the center part of the lip a little bit lighter makes the look really nice and i really love this cashew brown lipstick you can really apply it really nice and heavy or something almost like a stain like this is super pretty so last but not least we have to use a fragrance i'm not sure if this perfume is going to go with this look exactly this is the the new chanel chance au fraiche in the eau de parfum like this perfume to me eau fraiche is like very zesty like a lime zest it's fresh it's a little bit green a little bit mossy a little bit musky but it's also in my mind the client is very athletic she's playing tennis she's golfing she's gardening she's outdoors in nature so i don't know if this really goes with this look today but i am going to go on a hot girl summer walk so that will be my contribution to the outdoors and nature it is a really nice scent, but something about the classic eau de toilettes, I think is a little bit better. I don't know, just to me, like the Chanel Chance, Eau Fraiche, Eau Tendre, Eau Vive. I don't like Eau Vive, but I think Eau Fraiche and Eau Tendre, there's something effervescent and bubbly about the eau de toilette that I think translates better in the classic version. I don't know, just my opinion. And actually, I have a last final touch because I didn't put on a sunscreen and I want to put on a sunscreen. This is the Sunbum Face Mist. This is a spray sunscreen and you can, in fact, apply it over top of your makeup. So make sure that your mascara is bone dry. It's been like 15 minutes since I've put on my mascara. So you can, you can go ahead and apply this on top of makeup. Let me just do this. It smells like coconut and pineapple, so it's very nice. I like to just wait a few extra seconds just to make sure that none of the sunscreen gets in my eyes because like once you get sunscreen in your eyes, it's game over. Just go home, take a shower, and start from scratch. It's like the worst. So the sunscreen will add a bit of glow, but also it's going to be a sunscreen. Anyway, this is my look today using some new makeup, a sultry summer smoky eye in September. Why not? 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If there's new makeup out there that you want me to review and test out, leave a comment down below. And on that note, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.